The City of Milwaukee Health Department wants to promote safe sleep for babies. We would like to review the way to keep babies safe when they sleep. This is important to reduce the risk of SIDS, otherwise known as Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and suffocation. It is very important that babies always sleep on their backs and never in an adult bed, on a couch, a chair, or in a recliner with another person. They need their own space. So let's look at how you can have a safe place for a baby to sleep to reduce the risk of SIDS and suffocation. It is important that your baby share a room with mom, but not share a bed. Cribs should have slats no more than two and three eighths inches apart. You can test this with your own crib by making sure that an upright soda can does not fit through the slats. Older cribs had slats placed four to five inch intervals. These were far enough apart that a baby's head could get caught between them. Babies should not sleep in these cribs. Babies should only sleep in cribs that meet the new standards. So let's look at all of the items in this crib and talk about what should be in a safe crib. First and foremost, the baby should always be on their back when placed to sleep. No bumper pads should be attached to the sides of cribs. They can be unsafe for the baby and can cause accidental suffocation. They are no longer needed because the slats in new cribs are too close for a baby's head to get stuck. We now know that babies can get close to bumpers and may not be able to get away. Toys. No toys should be placed in the crib with the baby. Toys can be dangerous if they obstruct the baby's airway. Pillows. Do not put pillows in baby's crib. A baby who sleeps on or near pillows is also at risk for suffocation. Do not place blankets over your baby. Dress him or her in multiple layers if you are worried about cold. A blanket sleep sack such as this will work as well. The temperature should be no more than 72 degrees in the room. Overheating can raise the risk of SIDS. No one should smoke near the baby. It also increases the risk for SIDS. What is left is a crib with a tightly fitting mattress covered by a sheet with the baby on his back dressed appropriately for the room temperature. To review, you can reduce the risk of SIDS or suffocation by placing your baby to sleep alone in his or her back and his or her own space. This means they should be in a crib, a pack and play, or an approved bassinet. Babies should be placed on their backs every time. Your baby is safest sleeping in his own crib or pack and play. If you currently sleep with your infant, please stop. The death of an infant due to SIDS or suffocation is a terrible tragedy for any family to face. The simple steps outlined in this video can help you greatly reduce the chance that your baby might suffer the same fate and help to give him or her a safer and more restful place to sleep.